What is up my queens? I hope it is right and it is bright. Today I won't be wasting any time my loves. I will just be going straight into the video. I will be doing a purple card crease eyeshadow. I've already done my eyebrows as you, as you can already see and right now what I'm doing is just setting my eyelid since I have already um, concealed it. So I'm just using a setting powder to set my eyelids if you are asking yourself which product i am using in this video ask no more just turn to the description box down below and i have outlined and detailed each and every product and brush that i have used for this eyeshadow look I will then take my bigger fluffy brush and I will go into my eyeshadow palette and take the lighter purple shade as you can see me pointing at it there yep and I will just apply it all over my eyelid and crease <laughs> and if you're wondering what your girl is jamming to don't ask no more okay i am jam jamming to some kingdom music child i'm jamming to some worship i got my worship turned up i'm listening to ntogozo mbambo's field album i will link it on the description down below and you can also be blessed by it child okay okay <laughs> and just to be precise child i was jamming to the first track of the album called yebo right and that is why you see me going crazy like this is because i mean if you know the song child you know that it's a vibe okay so yeah do check it out i know and i guarantee that you're gonna be blessed okay whether you're listening to it in the car in the house or wherever okay on your phone youtube music apple music wherever child you'll be blessed right I then went back into my eyeshadow palette, took that darker purple and a smaller fluffy brush and just blended it into my crease. As you already know child what you do on the left hand side you also do on the right hand side so I just went right ahead and I did what I did on the other eye on the other eye as well. I then went back into my eyeshadow palette and took the black eyeshadow and I placed it on the outer corner of my eye and a little bit below my crease just to bring in that depth um, into, my, into my eyelid and my eyeshadow look. 
and to smoke it out a bit. I then took a flat angled brush and my concealer, which was the same concealer that I used to clean out my eyebrows to carve out the area of my card crease. In fact, let me just bring you guys a little bit closer so that you can see exactly what I was doing. I then went and took my setting powder again and set the area where I applied my concealer. I did this particularly because I wanted the part where I had concealed not to crease and I also wanted it not to look as glossy as it did so I wanted it to look a bit matte and a bit dry so that I can go ahead and apply my eyeshadow. I then went ahead and took a clean flat angled brush and went back into the same eyeshadow palette and took the white eyeshadow and applied it on the area where I had carved out with my concealer. When doing this, I tried by all means to avoid the inner corner of my eye because I had reserved that area for a different um, shiny, sparkly, um, sort of kind of highlight type of an eyeshadow. So I applied the other areas everywhere else where I had concealed and carved out apart from the inner corner of my eye. And as you know, what you do on the left hand side, you also do on the right hand side. So I went right ahead and repeated the process on my other eye. I then went back and used my smaller fluffy brush and went back into my eyeshadow palette and dipped into that darker purple and applied it on the outer corner of my eye just to smoke it out and blend it out so that it looks um seamless and just like gets rid of the harsh lines I went back and took my bigger fluffy brush and just blended everything out so that it looks seamless and everything else blends into each other. 
I then went back into my eyeshadow palette and took that shiny, um, sparkly eyeshadow that kind of looks rose gold and I packed it into the inner corner of my eye and this will also be playing as a highlight and as you can see it's very very subtle but visible and yeah it's popping it's there it's not making a lot of noise but it's visible and that's the exact look that I was going for so yeah you just go right ahead and just apply it on the inner corner of your eye like that now it's showtime exactly i went right ahead and applied my lashes off camera and this is the completed eyeshadow look we've come to the end of our video and if you have tuned in and watched until this far thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel comment like and share it See you on my next video. Love you. Bye.